My mom was a clown when I was working here, when I was going to school at Webster University and even before that. She would dress as a clown on the weekends and twist balloons for tip, for tip money. It was kind of embarrassing as a kid, but then when I needed the bucks and I was going to school here at Webster, I had to suck it up and learn how to do it myself. I had people all along telling me that I should use balloons, that those were my true medium, and I laughed it off. But it was when I was really depressed and in, in New York City, having to use the subway every day to get back and forth to work, and everybody in the morning is doing the zombie walk. The subways are just overcrowded, and they're dark and dingy and, and humid and dank and smelly. And so I would go out at 2 in the morning, 4 in the morning, and take hundreds of orange or pink balloons and I would stick them all over the wall and when the trains would come they would wave around and and people would actually stop and smile and, and there was this awe factor and when I saw people's reactions I knew I was on to something immediately. So sad. The concept for making them come, comes from all different places, from fairy tales, from books that I read, all different ideas. I, I get commissioned by museums that are having a grand opening or they're having a gala and they'll commission me to create a massive installation for one evening. And I'll do all of the work, create these forms, I'll truck them in, install all of the work, light it, the event will go off and people will ooh and ah, and then they come down and they get either shipped back to my studio. Sometimes they'll stay up, uh, depending on the show. Other times I slash them all right after the event. And so that's one way that I get paid. Another way is I create works specifically for photo shoots and, and in specific locations. Last year I went to the Pacific Northwest and I did a, a series of sculptures that we photographed in these locations where we, we trekked into the rainforest wearing all kinds of camera gear on our backs and carrying massive sculptures wrapped in plastic. We got to the location and we unwrapped them and we put them on a model to wear so that, um, so that they're you know, up and off the ground. Uh, or other times we suspended them, we light them and we photograph them and then the galleries have these limited edition photographs, what you've seen here at the Hunt Gallery, that they offer to collectors. People love to watch it. People want to see how it happens, how on earth these things become the way they, the way they are, and, and also in the destruction of them. For instance, if I do an event for a grand opening of a museum, which I did, I did just last weekend for the Museum of Art and Design in Manhattan, when it was finished, after the weekend was over, I took the sculptures right in front of the audience that was waiting to get into the museum, and I slashed them right there on the sidewalk. I've made some big stuff, and it's exciting when I have the opportunity to do it. My studio is a good sized studio, but I'm limited to what I can take out of the freight elevator. Mm -hmm. I have double doors, so a lot of times if I have to ship pieces into a, a place, I have to make them in parts and then assemble them on site. 
but whenever I'm flown somewhere and I have the opportunity to be in the space working, if it's a really grand space, for instance, a, a space in Chicago at the Illinois Institute of Technology, on their campus they have several Mies van der Rohe buildings with tall glass walls. It's just fantastic. So while I was there, I was able to make sculptures that were 40 feet long and 20 feet around were just enormous, and that was super cool. I love that. If you are interested in seeing more of my work, please look at my website, which is jasonhackenworth.com, and that's spelled W-E-R-T-H. Uh, also, you can Google me, and I have lots of fun videos on YouTube as well that are listed under my name. All right, thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Let you try.